Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle. But in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I make ginger beer. Now I never heard of it before. A friend of mine introduced me to it and I went to a Jamaican restaurant and they made it from, I know it was fresh, um, but it was so good. So this is my little spin on it and I'll show you guys how easy it is five minutes you can make it there's some ginger beer now i will say you can use plain spring water i only drink spring water or you can use sparkling water um, but what i did notice by using this the sparkling water is that you have more suds and you may have to strain it with a cheesecloth but let me just get started so i have some pineapple which is my added ingredient pineapple maybe like four chunks. I have maybe a third of a cup of fresh um, ginger. I drink ginger every morning, so this was easy for me to make. I have some ice cubes, so I can be really, really cold. And I have some agave. And I have about a tablespoon of agave, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add in my ice cubes and you could put as much as you want I'm gonna add in my fresh ginger I don't like to add too much because ginger ginger burns I don't care what nobody say and I'm gonna add in my fresh pineapple and I'm going to add in my agave and the agave is what's going to give it like that little kick because to be honest with you the um the ginger is really really strong and then i'm going to add my spring water i'm going to get a little bit more okay so i'm just going to add some more water and and I use my Nutribullet, and the reason why I use my Nutribullet is because that's all I have. <laughs> but this works just fine, and we're just gonna juice this up, plug this in really quick, and go from there. So this is it. Ginger, agave, um, ice cubes, and some pineapple. Okay, so what you will notice that it looks a little sudsy. When you are making it with the sparkling water, you have a lot more suds than this. Like I said, you could actually strain it out or let it sit for a second and then pour it into a glass. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna let it sit for a second and then I'll be back and let you guys see how this looks in me tasting my ginger beer. Coco spin on ginger beer. So I'll be right back guys. Okay guys, welcome back. So I let it sit for a little while. You guys can see the color, the suds, and then the ginger. Um, you can let it sit a little bit longer if you want so it can just like settle in. But since I'm really thirsty, I'm just going to open this up. And I am going to just pour into my cup. And I try my best not to get a whole bunch of the, the suds in there. And voila, this is my ginger beer. Okay, I don't know why they call it ginger beer. Don't know, but this is so yummy, guys. Let me taste it for you guys. Mmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, if it's too strong for you guys, I would recommend putting more agave. I'm okay with it because I drink ginger every day. But if this is something that is just, it feels like it burns your chest. 
I like it, but if it's too much for you, you can add a little bit more agave and be good. I don't know about honey. I use agave, that's my sweetener. Um, I don't use regular sugar. So this is it, and this is my ginger juice, guys. And I hope you guys like it. So if you guys like videos like this, please comment below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.